I thank you, Prime Minister Sri Modi ji, for your kind words. I am touched by warm welcome and the generous hospitality extended to me and my delegation. I recall your landmark first visit to Nepal in 2014 and other subsequent visits, which have helped nurture bond of friendship and cooperation between our two countries. I truly admire your love and affection to Nepal and Nepali people, and my visit today will further reinforce this innate sentiment. This is, first, this is my fifth visit to India as the Prime Minister of Nepal. This time I am particularly delighted to visit India in a special year with Azadika Amrit Mahotsav is being observed and we are also celebrating 75th year of formalization Nepal-India diplomatic relations. I admire the progress that India is making under the visionary leadership of Sri Modi ji. We have been, I, 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 we have been <coughs> India's effective management battling COVID-19. I received first vaccine assistance from India, as well as medicine, medical equipment, and logistic combat, logistics to combat COVID pandemic, for which I thank Prime Minister Modi ji and government of India. As Prime Minister Modi ji friendly talk and fruitful discussion on various aspects of India-Nepal relations and shared our perspective on further strengthening our friendly ties with forward-looking approaches. Separately, as we had delegation-level talk where we took a broad overview of our relations in all dimensions, political, economic, and social development matters. <clears throat> India and Nepal share age-old time-tested and multi-dimensional ties that covers all spheres of our interaction with share democratic values, cultural ethos, and civilization linkage, and similar ambition in inclusive development. The relations between our two countries have been widened and deepened with passage of time. These lessons have been enriched by close people-to-people -people contact. For Nepal, lessons with India are highly important. We look upon the tremendous economic transformations transformation that India had achieved. We are eager to benefit from India's progress through mutually benefit, benefit, beneficial economic partnership. Consequently, uh, consequently I remind an important part of our discussion. I and President Modi joined the flag of the inauguration of passenger service between Jainagar to Kulta rail link today, which we constructed under which we which, which was constructed under the generous assistance of India. We also discussed about the building of integrated check post and dry port in Chaldari Dodhara, agreed to an early completion of the ongoing work on ICP Nepalgans. I requested India for early commit commencement of construction of ICP in Bhairava. We also witnessed exchanges of MOU on technical cooperation in the railway sectors. We both are confident that further connectivity project road, railway, and gain further momentum. Likewise, we have discussed cooperation in civil aviation. We have discussed Nepal's request. Additional year entry route to Nepal through Mayanagar, Nepal, and Jalapur. I also requested for concurrence of near border flight operation to supply operationalize Gautam Buddha International Airport in Bhairwa. A few weeks ago, India and Nepal signed 
two MOU on construction of motorable bridge for Darchula. Uh, Nepal to Darchula, India, over Mahakali River and other and under supply and under on supply urea DAP from India to Nepal on government to government basis. Our two sides are working on the early delivery of hundreds of fifty thousand metric tons of chemical fertilizer before planting regional plant, planting regional start. Bilateral trade between our two countries growing discussed the way of toward this huge trade deficit. <coughs> In view of the Nepal's high potential for hydroelectricity generation and export, it is important to have broad understanding in power export cooperation between our two countries. So cross-border power trade remains a priority agenda during the discussion. I am happy that Nepal-India joined vision statement for power sector cooperation that we have agreed upon today the mutual beneficial cooperation on hydroelectricity generation transmission cross-border. Uh, plus cross -border. Uh, I, I welcome Prime Minister Modi's offer to purchasing the electricity from Nepal. Uh, we agreed to, to conclude the revised transit treaty, which will facilitate operational real cargo transit, trans, transit with private sector and inland waterways across the regional port. We also launched today operational rupee card in Nepal that will help to promote the follow of Indian tourists in Nepal. Water resources remains an important area of cooperation between our two countries for mutual benefit. Prime Minister Modi and I discussed various aspects of cooperation in water resources, inundation and flood control and power sector. We jointly inaugurated today 90 kilometers long, 120 KBDC solo, solo corridor transmission line project built under the Indian line of credit. We discussed about early completion of GPR Panjeshwar multipurpose project, which would be milestone of Nepal-India cooperation hydropower development. India's cooperation has been vital in Nepal, Nepal's health sector as well. I appreciate Prime Minister Modi's for assistance for provide India for India to address COVID-19 pandemic, including vaccine, medical supplies, and liquid oxygen. Our discussion also co covered. Upgrading the GP Kuala National Center for Respiratory Diseases in Nepal into GP Kuala National Institute of Health Sciences. I extend my sincere appreciation to the government of India for substantial support in our reconstruction efforts. We are witnessed the pro progress in constructing 132 health posts in 10 districts of Nepal being constructed of Indian grant assistance. And uh, and I just Prime Minister Modi assured me that uh, from Jobani to Virata there will be uh, Line, the line and the other areas also will be uh, helped by India. Thank you very much. Uh, and, uh, uh, both, uh, both of us agreed that exchange of a high level visit should be regular. It helped promote mutual understanding visit uh, uh, confidence. I have invited Modi ji 
for the visit of Nepal. We are eagerly look forward welcoming Prime Minister Modi ji. As Modi ji uh, told, told, told me that we have also heard that Banaras is a very uh, religious place for Hindus. Nepali people also, they love to, uh, once in the lifetime, visit to Banaras, visit to Vishwanath. And uh, uh, even people in Nepal, they, they used to, Kashi Bas, they used to Kashi Bas before they die. They want to, to die, criminate, criminate Kashi. Therefore, we have heard that you have made it very uh, helpful, beautiful, and uh, there was, now I have heard that water also clean, Ganga, Ganga, very clean. Thank you very, very much, Your Excellency. That will definitely will be uh, grateful that we will also would like to visit Banar Vishwanath Mandir, and we are very much helpful for this also, for your kind remarks, <laughs> Excellency. As, uh, in earthquake also time, India helped to build many buildings I, I have seen there. Thank you for this also. There are still, there are projects, still, still there are some small problems. We would like to request you that to build more uh, houses there. And uh, it's, I would like to speak now that we discuss the boundary issues and I urged Modi to resolve through the establishment and the bilateral mechanism. Thank you very much.